Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike here from AAC Garage. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, want to make sure you go down there, hit the subscribe button, and turn on that notification. And some of you guys are going to think, is this the same EM1 restoration project that we've been working on? And this is actually another Milano Red Honda Civic SI EM1. And the car is in for some upgrades and some refresh. Let's take a look. All right guys, so here we have a 2000 Honda Civic SI in this beautiful Milano red. And overall, the car is in excellent shape. The paints are really, really good all around. All the moldings, everything else is really, really good. But the look could be deceiving. So when we take a closer look at the hood, to start seeing some the issues or defect on the clear coat. Now, aside from the clear coat, the car is the 2000, so it does have some wear and tear, and the car has about 82,000 miles, and stone chips, uh, things of that nature are all through the front end. So in order for us to fix this, we're gonna have to do a complete refresh along to the back here as well. On the rear bumper, we do have some imperfections uh, all along the upper portion and the lower portion of the rear bumper next up let's carry ourselves into the interior of this em1 very very clean to take a look at these seats here wow super super nice door panel dashboard steering wheel and even a cluster at 82,000 miles this car is well kept and even got the original gray floor mats over here let me turn on the lights here so you guys can see a little better Look how good condition they are. And take a look at the seat, even the driver's side. Very, very good condition. And next up, let's take a look at the engine bay. B16 A2 VTEC engine, all original, along with the transmission. Everything else look all stock with the exception of a few items. Now the strut bar here, this is a factory OEM unit. The owner has sent it out to get powder coated in this wrinkle red, very, very similar to the ITR valve cover. Carry over here to the spark plug wire, NGK blue wire, very, very popular for this B series, along with this titanium chasing J uh, VTEC sonar cover there. But other than that, everything is all stock and I love the way it look. And underneath the vehicle, it's just as clean as the engine bay, everything is all stock engine transmission not one drop of oil and mostly boats here still got that zinc finish suspension is all stock completely stock looks like over here it must have a uh, axle leaking at one point we definitely go get that cleaned up and carry ourselves to the exhaust system factory catalytic converter and <laughs> now they're worth some money now over here exhaust b pipe and the muffler is completely stock in this car guys it's 100 percent rust free it's not a, any rust anywhere around this car which makes this car a perfect candidate for this build all right so you guys have seen the car next up let's go ahead and get the car prepped up ready for the body shop so brian can finish up the front end 
and the rear bumper first thing we're going to do is to remove the front grille along with the front bumper then we work ourselves to the back on the rear bumper And guys, just like that, we are all done here. And now we're gonna pass you guys to Brian.
Moving over to the body shop, we're gonna get started first on the hood. Now the hood had imperfections, also known as crow's feet. Now when you get crow's feet, there's splits in the paint, cracking of the paint that goes all the way down to the primer in some areas. Now there's only one way to repair this, and that is to completely strip off all of the paint if you don't strip off all the paint, then what will happen is you put new paint on top of it. You haven't solved the problem because the problem is underneath the paint. And that's exactly what we're doing here. It's very time consuming and it's very dusty. If you can notice from the video footage that I am completely covered up. I've learned in the last few that I've done that it just gets everywhere. And you want to make sure you protect yourself when doing this type of work. If you're doing it from home or doing it at the shop. So we had just a little bit of area that needed some glazing putty and that's what you see right there so we sand this down I want to make sure this is nice and smooth we go ahead and we follow everything up with masking up the hood and then we're gonna start with an etching primer with well, the etching primer that you'll see here in just a moment that's gonna protect any of the metal on the surface and make sure that it is corrosion free and that's just what we're doing here we'll follow that up with some high build surfacer primer and then we'll seal it in red and get right into the painting Next up was the blend on the fenders and we scuffed these fenders up with an 800 grit. Now, the reason why we're doing a blend is because no color is the same. And I will tell you, a factory Milano red on this EM1 actually has a slightly tinted clear coat. So as I was sanding this, so some of the color was coming off. So you wanna be very, very careful. You don't wanna to sand too deep into it. It's not a single stage but the clear coat has a little bit of tint and that's something I've never seen before because all of the red EM ones we've done have been repainted. So what we're gonna be doing here is masking it up and we're just doing a blend. I like to paint my cars in complete pieces. That means that's gonna come out a lot cleaner. You don't have as many parts in the paint booth. So we'll go ahead, we'll get this thing all based up and we'll put some shiny clear coat on it to match the hood. Now next up was our bumper covers. Now it might look good on camera, but if you get up close, these bumper covers were really badly beat in a lot of road debris and 
poor paint prep work. You can see a lot of chipping and up close some orange peel as well. Now the only way to fix these properly is to completely sand them down and sand them down good to the layers underneath. And that's just what we're doing here. We're using a P180 grit and what that does is it really refines the surface. It gets down and smooths out without making it too rough as a surface. And from here what we're able to do is we're able to use our primer now this is a red primer some of you might be confused and think it's actually paint it's a red primer and what that red primer does is it really helps us out when it comes to painting because the red primer covers much better and quicker than the base coat would now you see us here what we're doing is we're getting those fog light covers all cut out there is a template on the back you can see we used a yellow marker and we drew it out we used drill bits at all four corners and a little air saw and we made quick work of these fog light mounting covers now from here we're able to sand down the bumper and get it ready for paint and it's the same prep on the rear bumper as well With our bumper covers all completely done, it's the same prepping process for our final accessories. We have our front lip here, which you'll see we'll sand it down. We're using a P180 grit as well, and that will get primer. Then we'll move on to our grill as well as our rear spoiler. So enjoy the beats as we move through getting all these pieces painted.
And no job would be complete unless we went back and finished up all the fine touches like we see here. We were able to get a much better tape line by doing the black inserts after the whole bumper cover has been painted and you can see it looks beautiful we're all done here we're going to pass this one back to mike and he's going to go ahead and finish this one up All right, guys, so we got all these parts back from the body shop at Pink Society. We got the hood right over here. Remember when the clear coat was all peeling? We got all that taken care of. The bumper's all scuffed up. We got that taken care of as well. Front lip right over there. Rear bumper, we got the spoiler here and also the outside mirror. Next up, let's go ahead and put on the hood. So with the help of John and Miguel, we're able to put on the hood and next up, let's go ahead and put on the wheel bumper over here. So with the freshly painted bumper, it's the only way to do it, to put some new clips on there. All right guys, just like that, we got the rear bumper back on the car. Let's take a quick look at it and let's move on to the front end. So up in the front, we're gonna start off with both headlights. Then we're gonna move on to the inner fender liners and also the molding that go right on the fender. And then we're gonna finish off with the front bumper. Now the headlights, we have a set of brand new OEM Civic Type R headlights. Now the Civic Type R headlights does have a silly light right over there and off camera. We went ahead and wired up the harness. We tap into the factory harness and also got an OEM light socket here as well. So over here also, customer wanna go ahead and put on a set of LED headlights. So let's get started.
All right, so both headlights are in, Nick's up. Let's go and work on the fender liners. All right, so we got the small moldings along with both fender liners back in the car next up. Let's go ahead and work on the front bumper. Now, before we get the bumper back on the car, install the lip and the grills and all that good stuff, as you can see in the previous clips, Brian went ahead and trimmed the bumper for us because we are putting a set of factory OEM fog lights. Uh, all the brackets are here, the fog lights and also the harnesses. Uh, before we do the harnesses, we will go ahead and mount up the bracket and the fog light assembly onto the bumper.
All right, guys, so we got the front bumper nicely put back together, the grill, both fog lights, along with the front lip. Over here, we have the harness to finish up before we can put the bumper back up on the car. Now, if you guys want to know how to do this fog light kit step by step, we have done this before on one of the previous video. We go and put a link right up either one of these corner right here <laughs> and also down in the description in case you guys want to check it out. All right, guys, look like we are all done up in the front end here. We got the hood, the fender liners, the headlights, the bumpers, and check out this OEM fog light right over here. Now, we still got to finish up the interior harness, but I want to really want to focus on the exterior. Now, to finish up the front end, the last thing we have to do is this little windshield washer now. So, the next up, uh, we want to go ahead and finish up the outside mirror, and then we're going to move on to the trunk.
right, so the mirrors are all done, and uh, Brian just doing some final adjustment on the hood. What do you say, Brian? Yeah, you know, it, these never fit like they should, but we're gonna have to fit like it did from factory. Whether that was perfect or not, we're gonna rearrange some things to make sure it looks good. We have the shop manager here with me, so let's get ahead and get it right. You want me to tell you how to do that? Because obviously you don't know what you're doing. I'm about to drop a beat one rhyme at a time about this hood right here. Don't forget me, don't fear. I'm the best around town, don't forget about my frown. My name is Brian, also known as Kim Coach T. Don't forget about me, I'm aligning up to these trees. Let's roll. <laughs> Lining up to these trees. <laughs> <laughs> And here we have the last piece of the puzzle for the exterior, John, what do you say? I mean, it's gonna be very nice on the car. When we put it on Miguel's car, it really brought the whole car together. And uh, you know, you can't get these things new anymore. So luckily we were able to get it secondhand with everything that comes with it. Um, the paint is fresh from Brian. All we gotta do is drill some holes, install it on the car, replace the springs and run the harness. And that's probably what we're gonna get into right now. And now the moment has come where we have to cover the holes that we drilled with some touch-up paint. Now, it doesn't matter what it is exactly. You're not gonna actually see the paint at all. It's just there to put a coating over the raw sheet metal. Uh, we happen to have some performance red, very nice. And it will cover everything up just the way it needs to be. It's not quite Milano, but no one's looking. All right, so we got our harness through. Our wing is bolted in here to drill the hole for the harness. It was underneath this adjuster here. And then we have to snake the wire in and over to here. And it's gonna run down through here and go and replace. You unplug your third brake light on the deck mount. And now this is gonna be your new brake light. Uh, some people like to tee it off so that they have all the lights on, but the factory way is to disable this and turn that on. That's the way we're gonna go ahead and do it. So right now we're just getting this taken off and then we're gonna install our trunk springs, then run our harness for the brake light. Ooh, so we got the spoiler in, nicks up. Uh, it's a fun part here, trunk springs. It's not that fun, Mike, but it's a pain in the butt but the springs are literally just twisty pieces of metal that flex and twist and that's the spring that holds your trunk open uh, to accommodate the extra weight of the wing we're going to go ahead and replace them with the upgraded ones i guess they're a little bit stiffer so now we have to flex them out of here and try not to hit our head with the trunk when it comes down on us and not get smacked with the wire it's my least favorite part of the job. I do like that little spe special tool you got there. We do have a few different special tools and uh, they 
are designed by Honda to release these trunk springs. So some people do them with a screwdriver. We a little bit fancy here, so let's see how this goes. Nice. So before extra weight of this, it wouldn't hold itself up past this point. So now it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Now we run our harness. We're done with the wing. All right guys, so John and I just finished up the rear spoiler. It came out really, really good. And Brian did an amazing job matching a spoiler to the body of the car. Now next up, we gotta finish up the fog light harness on the interior, so let's get to it. Alright guys, so we got everything taken apart under the dash here. This is the OEM fog light harness that comes with the kit. Pretty simple harness to install. We got a headlight switch right over here. Uh, this is the two connector in and out. We have a one pin connector for the fog light, which is right over there that we need to connect to. We have a relay that, that came with the kit. The connector go there. We got a ground cable that go to the back of the relay. Come with a new ground bolt that go in between. Then lastly, we have the fog light uh, switch connector and our kit came with the fog lights. Now you guys want more information how to install this entire kit. I mentioned that before in a, earlier in the videos, we go ahead and put the link up here and also down descriptions. In the meantime, let's finish this up.
And guys, just like that, we are all done with this episode. We refinished the entire front end along with the rear bumper and also installing some factory accessory, including the front fog light, the rear spoiler, and set of brand new Civic Type R headlights. On the next episode, we'll be doing some upgrades. You definitely don't want to miss. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and also turn on your notification. My name is Mike, behalf of AXC Garage. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next week.